Morning and welcome to News 10 on my Fox 10. Today marked primary election day in the state of Indiana and all day long News 10 has been keeping you up to date with everything you need to know that continues tonight. News 10's John Swanner is in the studio tonight. He has a recap of the day's biggest races. John. Well, thank you, Patrice. And the talk of this year's Terre Haute municipal primary election, city finances. Everyone was talking about it. Now let's see how voters decided this in what looks to be a very low turnout this year. Now all George Azar does is lead the ticket for Democratic nominations for city council at large. He's followed this year by incumbent Don Morse and newcomer Curtis Debon. Now to the district races in District 1 incumbent Amy Aller moves one step closer to retaining her seat with a victory tonight. A close race in District 3, Karen Nasser edges out Cheryl Laddermilk, who was running to win the seat being vacated by her husband Norm. Nasser taking the nomination by a slim 12 vote margin. In District 4, Todd Nation cruises to another Democratic nomination, as does Neil Garrison in the race for 5th District. This fall, all eyes will be on the race for Terre Haute Mayor as two-time incumbent Duke Bennett will face Mark Bird, who says something's got to be done about the city's financial picture. What's it going to take? Uh, how long is it going to take? You just don't know because you really are not getting the information as to you know, how, how far in debt the city is. And certainly the beginning of a very long conversation there. Now on the Republican ticket, Earl Elliott ousted incumbent Bob All for his second district seat. Elliott served as the city council's financial consultant up to taking his candidacy for this seat. Now a very close race for Brazil City Council seats. Former Mayor Ann Bradshaw loses to Stephen Bell by one single vote. And if that wasn't close enough, the race between Bill Lovett and Brandy Pierce ends in a tie. The Clay County Election Office says candidates have the right to file for a recount in this race at their expense. The county chairperson may also file for a recount. Otherwise, precinct committee will decide who wins this race. Patrice, back to you.